Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would just sit down and do a little update because clearly things are different. I moved. This chapter is different for many reasons. First of all, we are in the same town, but in a different like area. Um, which is nice. My work is different, so that whole schedule and life in general is just different for me and I'm trying my best to adjust, but it is it is a lot and I have had many conversations with Michael about everything and I'm trying my best. The second thing is that we don't have a lot of storage in this place. It's a big space. We have one bedroom, first of all, and then the living area is pretty big. There's a lot of natural light, as you can see. I'm in front of a window. I actually had to close the shade a little bit because it's overcast today and there's just a lot of light coming in the window. But it's wonderful. I'm so happy about that because our last place was lacking in light. It was a very dark home. And I know that it's really good for mental health to have light in the house. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. Going back to the stuff, I don't know how I went on a tangent, but we just have way more than we did when we first moved into that house. We left behind a lot of stuff. We've gotten rid of so many things, but there's still a lot of work to do and we don't have storage furniture. Like that's the one thing we have not invested in and we have a lot of Ikea things. The one example that I have for you is that we have never purchased a dresser. So that has been something that I've been looking at. It is so difficult to make a decision on furniture. I absolutely hate it. I don't know how I turn into someone that like stresses out and doesn't really like shopping. I know I have decision paralysis. Um, I think that's the phrase, but yeah, I just struggle. I think I know what I want, but there are so many styles to go with. So I've been trying to not stress out about that because there's something else on the horizon that is also big. We're going on a trip to Italy. My cousin's getting married there and that's in two weeks. Two weeks, people. I have been trying to keep calm about this because Italy, Europe, is, well, specifically Italy, has not been a place on my, I don't wanna say bucket list. I don't really have a bucket list, but I haven't exactly dreamed of going there and so i'm going into this process like okay we're gonna see stuff everything will hopefully be fine try not to stress out about planning everything to the t but still day by day we have to have some things planned i'm also very grateful that there are a couple days that are planned simply because of the wedding um but i i'm looking forward to it but i just haven't traveled to europe and I haven't traveled, like done a trip in a very long time. We went on our honeymoon trip to St. Lucia. That was like, very easy. You just go, you go to the resort and you're done. And so I haven't done like a thing like this in a while. And I've traveled, but this is just different. So I'm trying my best to just stay calm. I have to start packing soon and yeah, it's the fashions, the, you know, the outfits, the feet being comfortable, all that kind of stuff. So enough about Italy. That will happen. That will pass. Um, this place is clearly, like I said, small. It's a one bedroom apartment. It's, I think, 1900 square feet, which is pretty big. The bedroom is big. We've split it up into two rooms. There's little entryways you can see. Um, we want to replace this couch because this couch is honestly like it's on its last it's on its last life um getting it into this place was a nightmare i saw it i didn't help but i witnessed it and it was it was bad um it's just a big piece of furniture and we don't think that it fits our lifestyle or our style anymore so again that's a big big thing um, so there's just a lot of big things that need to be replaced, that need to just disappear, um, that need to be purchased. And the last thing I want to get into is just living in a small space in general. I have always known this about myself. I thrive in a smaller space. Living in that last place for three years was my first experience living in a big place. 
in a house and it was very overwhelming for me. I, you know, romanticized about it in the beginning, as you probably saw, I was doing little makeovers with my studio. I was very excited to have my own space to film in, but I realized that even that room was dark. And the room that I eventually went into towards the end of that living situation had a lot of light. It was on the second floor, but it was small. And I felt very safe in that small box room, which was my closet, my dressing room. And I didn't do a lot of filming in that room. I just wasn't into YouTube at that time. I mean, I'm still not into YouTube, but I just wanted to film this little video just because it's, I don't know, I like to mark these moments in time for myself and also just talk about living in a small space and it just is easier. There's less floor to clean up. There's a lot more troubleshooting, I feel like, that you have to do because you have to be smart about how you use your space. The one thing I will say about the space that is not the best decision is we have a dining table that was um, passed down to us from a family member. They were trying to sell it and we we're like, let's just take it. We had it up in that house for a bit. So this table is beautiful. It is dark wood. It's 60 inches in diameter. It's a bit tall for the chairs we have, like the chairs it came with, they're long gone. So we need to get chairs for it. We just have three little Ikea chairs that are not the right size and Michael's gaming chair, which I sit in a lot at the dining table. And I'm staring at it right now, it's like right there. It's gorgeous, but it is technically too big for the space. So the dining room is going to be mostly a dining room and then the living area, which is what I'm in now, will be strategically planned. Not sure how. We have cats, we have a litter box situation that is bigger than I want it to be. But yeah, we have you know, our activities that we do. And so we have to tailor our space to the activities we like to do. I like to sew. Michael likes having a desk because of work. I've been using the dining table as a desk. I like to read, so we have a, a nice little chair and we have a bookshelf that's over there. It's going to be moved. Um, we've been decluttering books. So it's really trying to find, you know, what we want to do with the space and how we're going to use it. Getting rid of lamps. Like we just have so many things from that big house that we can't use now. And it's it's sad, but it's also exciting to get rid of stuff. It's such a life changing experience <laughs> to just feel the freedom of like, yeah, we don't need this anymore. It's not serving us and we can just donate it. Um, and then if it's not donatable, it gets dumb. We're just going to throw it away. So this is a feeling of feeling like a different person, but also still having anxiety over like the planning that we have to do and the decision-making that has to be done. So right now we are in, we're going to Italy mode and I do some browsing online. My work is very busy and figuring out fall fashion. I do think I might make some like videos on fall fashion, like things I'm excited to wear because my channel is about style mostly and finding that personal joy and trying not to overcomplicate things, which my brain naturally wants to do. So that's why I like to talk about it. And I just hope that this chapter brings more peace, more simplicity, more ease into our lives, which I already feel like living in an apartment that, yeah, we don't have like an outdoor yard that's our own personal yard, but there's less upkeep and it's clean. Everything is new. Nothing is gross and grimy because things in that house definitely were here and there and we don't have to keep up with house things. It just feels fresh. And I'm hoping that, you know, when we one day find a house of our own, that we will transfer this feeling of newness and freshness. And if that house needs help, then we'll put our all into it. But for now, I'm very excited to be back in a little space to call home and to have a sense of newness, 
not a rebrand. I don't want to say rebrand. It's just weird, but it definitely kind of feels like it. Every time I move, I feel that piece of me changing and obviously we're all constantly changing but it is difficult to see and so it's nice when other people point it out to you and you start seeing it in yourself and that's what I'm gonna leave it at today uh, thank you guys for watching I hope you are well and let me know in the comments down below if you think that you also thrive in a smaller space like I do because a little part of me thinks that it's odd because we all like it feels like our culture we strive to have like bigger better more and more and more but that's not what my soul feels so let me know down below if you feel the same way I hope you're having an amazing day uh happy fall and i'll see you in the next video bye